here, it's Ty Matthews from Today in Gaming, and I'm going to show you how to navigate the Skyrim Creation Kit. It's been a long time since the release of Skyrim, and we have this amazing tool to add content to it that we create. Isn't that awesome? So why wouldn't you want to use it? So, in this tutorial, obviously, it's going to be a little bit more for noobs who are new to the Creation Kit, and I'm going to show them how to navigate it. So I'm sorry for all of you out there who already know how to load up the files. So to load up your files, you go to File, Data, Dir, and then double clip Skyrim.esm. And if you want to add a content from Hearthfires, Dragonborn, or Dawnguard, you can do that. But I'm just going to go with Skyrim. And this is a new f file, but if, if you want to edit an ex existing file, all you have to do is select that one as well and you want to set active file so that that is the file that you're actively working on Dur. but right now I'm just gonna make a new file mod to show you how to do this very exciting very exciting stuff it will take a while to load and it'll eventually show you a bit of a warning it's okay. You can just click yes to all. Like this. It says a lot of stuff about knob meshing, which we'll get into later. But Bethesda didn't exactly fix a lot of their bugs, so it will tell you a few things that are wrong. But it's okay. This is the object window. I hope you can read that. Right up here it says object window. It basically stores a lot of things that are inside Skyrim. NPCs, weapons, armor, location data. It's a lot of stuff that we will get into later. The main creation kit window is where you control a lot of what you're doing. And then you have snap to angle and snap to grid. I know a lot of this stuff looks very scary, but it's honestly really simple. The render window contains what you're working on. So, this controls what you're w working on. This is what you put into what you're working on. Or the data of what you're working on. This contains what you're working on. Basically, if you want to edit the inside of a house, say Alvor's house in, in Riverwood, all you would have to do is click, click on that and the cell view window here it's really easy to na navigate through this click here type in Riverwood and and it takes you over here click that twice and it will take a little while yes to all of course and then you get all of this stuff inside the house now I'm sure you remember this house it's a nice house it's one of the first houses that you have to go into to continue the quest in Skyrim. So you go go in here, and this is what it actually looks like. That's a couple of pe people there. Anyway, m moving on, you, you have a chest here, some food. It's very detailed, and it's well made. Now these are called markers, and we will get into those in another tutorial. But for now, let's just leave scarier stuff out of the picture. So, I'm going to show you how to rotate around an object. All you have to do is click on that ob object, hold down left shift, and move your mouse. Left to go right, right to go left, up to go down, down to go up. It's that easy, but the thing you need to know about this is the closer that you click the object, the more narrow your rotation will be. So let's say I zoom way out and click this pelt on the floor. I will rotate from all the way out here. I will orbit from this distance. And that's important because if you have nothing to select it, you will go all over the place. And that is really annoying. So, don't do that. Make sure you have... 
make sure you are at the distance that you want to be around that object to rotate. Now, let's just say I wanted to add an object to the house, which I really don't ha have to because it already looks really great. But let's say I wanted a another basket right here, right here in, in front of this wardrobe. All you would have to do is, is, click, is click in the all se section of the object window and click and type up, not click, basket. And you have a few to, ch to choose from here. And if, if you want it to be more organized, you can go into misc item inside the item sec section. It'll sh show you the baskets that you can put in your inventory. There are some that you can't, which are in world objects static. But we'll get into that later. It's really not that complicated at all. So we're in here and, and we get to right click and do preview and this is the preview window all it does is sh show you what you're about to put into the game or what it looks like see if you want to put it into the game etc. So I really don't like this basket and, I, and honestly I don't it looks kind of ugly. So let's go over here and preview this one and you don't always have, have to uh, click here every time that's just a, a, a waste of time. So, back to business. Click around until you find the one that you want. That's a flower basket. I don't want that. I want that one. So let's click on that. Don't don't rename it. You don't want to do that. That will mess up your game. Then drag it into here. And it's like the same as that one. Interesting. And then you drag it over here. And there, there it is. You put a new object into a cell. Now to rotate the object, which for baskets you really don't have to, but I'll sh show you in, in any way. I mean, it, it, it's just the same te texture all around, but I don't really care. I'm going to show you. All you have to do is hold down left shift. Actually, no, that's for the camera view. I already sh sh showed you that. All you have to do is to rotate it on the Z axis, which is the axis that, that I was saying didn't exactly matter, hold down Z on, on your key keyboard and hold down right click on your mouse and move it around to, to, to the spot you want it to be rotated at. And it's the same for the X axis, you get to rotate it around like that. Like so. It's going to be, that's pretty cool. And for the Y axis, it's a little different because if you click Y on the keyboard, you get a different view of the object. So what you want to do, oh, that's not good. Now, so, 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 so you have to fix that, is hold down C, not Y. It's called it's the C on the keyboard and then rotate it with your right click and move your mouse there you go now as you can see our basket is kind of inside the wood floor here the planks so what we want to do is click on that basket and hold down Z to move it and to move it, you, you have to use left click on your mouse. And, and, and of course, it's the same for X and Y. You click C on your keyboard. And then to bring it down level with the ground, you click F once. And there you go. Now, as you can see, it's curving because of the way I, that I rotated it. So if we want it to be flat on the ground, we can just go into by double click on left click. Go over here, 3D data, and what axis is that? That would be the X axis. So you'd open up that, and I think you would probably do, no, that's position, that's position, do zero, click OK. And there we go. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Sorry. 
and click F again, and you're on on the ground, and it's a little curved because of the hide there, the pelt. But you can move it over, over there and clear the Y axis and the Z axis rotation, and it's just fine. And that's how you place an object inside the cell view and Skyrim Creation Kit. It's really not that hard. And ju just to kick us off from this video, let's just add a potion in there. Let's search for a p potion here. I don't really care what it is. Let's put, um, let's do this one. So you can just lift it up like so, move it over there, click F, and then then it's inside it. And if you want to move both, you can do that. But if you don't, then you'll do that, and that won't be good because it isn't inside the basket. I hope you noobs learned something today. Soon we will be in some messy stuff. I will teach you some scary things about the Skyrim creation kit. But hey, you get to create some awesome content. And I would love to see it. If you put your comments down in the comments section below, I will see your mod and I will play it. Unless it's really really bad in that case I pity you that's why I'm putting up these tutorials so you so you can learn how to act to how to create a good Skyrim mod anyway I hope you noobs actually did learn some, something um, and, and for th those of you who already knew this stuff don't worry I will get to you in the next well, probably not the next tutorial, but things will get more difficult as they go. So if you want to see more tutorials on this, not on this exactly, but on the Skyrim Creation Kit, just subscribe below. And I will see you, actually I won't see you, but I'm sure you'll be there for the NPC tutorial next. Adios amigos.